Good morning, Riverview. My name is Jackson Weil, and this is your morning news. Today's trivia question is, under which presidential committee was the Tennessee Valley Authority created? On today's date, April 14th in 1828, the first edition of Noah, Noah Webster's Dictionary is published. Today is also National Look Up at the Sky Day, so make sure to look up at the sky. Ten Ways to Survive Life in a Quarantine by Don Zolidis, performed by the Riverview High School Theater Department, will be streaming on YouTube this Friday and Saturday, beginning at 7 p.m. Check it out on the Riverview High School Theater Department YouTube channel. Congratulations to Amelia Malkin for being honored as one of the top female soccer players in the area. Congratulations to John Solomon and Javian Millen for being selected for the, to the Senior All-Star Game. Boys Lacrosse won vs. Community Day School of Naples on Friday. This week we will be hosting districts. Semifinals is on Wednesday and district championships is on Friday. Games will be held at 7 p.m. Both track and field had a strong showing in the Sarasota County Championship at Booker High School. Freshman Louis Castaneda captured first place in the discus with a throw of 43.99 meters. Dylan Jenkins captured first in the javelin, breaking his own record with a toss of 43.80 meters. For the girls' team, Tessa Shriver tied for first place in the high jump by clearing 1.55 meters. Overall, our track and field team represented RHS in a true championship fashion. Great job, Rams. On Friday, baseball had senior night, and the boys won big against Palmetto, 7-0. Beach Volleyball is undefeated and will be hosting regionals at Bee Ridge Park today. The first supermoon of 2021 will light up the sky this month. The pink moon will rise in the night of Monday, April 26. It will reportedly reach peak illumination around 11.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To get the best view of the pink moon, you should find an open area and watch the moon as it rises just above the horizon. Today's trivia question is, under which presidential committee was the Tennessee Valley Authority created? And the answer is under the committee of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Thank you for watching the news today, Rams, and have a wonderful day.